G'day, in today's video, I just wanna run through my thoughts on what I would love Canon to do in relation to their batteries, particularly for their cinema line cameras. So that's the BP batteries for their C400, C500, uh, C300, C70. These are great batteries, they last a long time, but the only way to charge them is with the charger. Now this is the CG20, uh, sorry, CGA20 charger. And that's essentially the only way to charge these batteries with their cinema line cameras. What I would love and what I hope Canon might somehow listen to this video is if we can just get a USB-C port to charge this if we don't have access to the charger. Now the scenario that I'm thinking of is when I travel, I try and travel as light as possible with the least amount of gear where possible. So if I can not take this in a case or a bag, it just frees up that little bit of extra space and a little bit of extra weight to help out on those shoots. So what I'm thinking is I take my laptop everywhere I go and it's got the charger, the USB-C charger, so I can charge this back at the hotel when needed overnight between shoots. So I think that would be super handy and I'm thinking it must be relatively uh, cheap and easy to do, given that Godox do it in their flash batteries. So there's a little USB-C port which you can charge this battery via USB-C. Newer, you can charge their battery, their V-Lock battery via USB-C. Came TV, you can charge this by USB-C. So I'm kind of thinking, hey Canon, let's jump in, join the party and let's give us shooters just that simple little USB-C charging point that would really help us, particularly when traveling, not have to take our dedicated charger away with us. So this particular charger I use for my MacBook Pro, uh, I definitely use it all the time to charge up my uh, Ronin battery. Um, so it kind of it's nice and fast because it's such a big charger. Now the other reason for today's video, I wanted to test the Axoon Top rig S60 with the C400 and see if it could handle the size and weight and, and how I could balance it. For this test, I've used the little 40 mil pancake uh, just to give it even, keep it that compact and not have the, uh, the lens protruding out the front too far for the balance and the weight. I weighed the camera, the base plate, and the mount and it was under three kilos. That didn't include the monitor and the top handle. I just didn't have it on when I weighed it. but. It's definitely under four kilos, so very usable for the, this slider. Now, I'll be interested to see in the footage how smooth it's able to keep it. Um, the camera looks like it's staying still and stable as it's sliding along, so I'm feeling very confident once I go back and check the footage. Uh, obviously, I'll jump in with a, a VO if uh, it looks shocking and I'm totally wrong. So let me know what you think of the footage from the C400 and the combination with the Axoon Top Rig S60 slider. Do you think it was smooth enough and do you like the look of it? Also, just a quick note in relation to the battery chat, I know that you can use the 4-pin XLR plug and plug in a battery plate with a V-lock and power the camera that way. But I'm just talking in reference to, wouldn't it be great to have a standalone charging option for the battery when you don't want to use V-lock? Hope you have a great week. We'll chat to you soon. Cheers.